So I don't know if you're familiar with this, but there's this video and it's it's uh it's one of my favorite public freakouts on YouTube. But there's this video of this actress Rose McGowan and she's grandstanding. Uh well okay, I don't want to I haven't seen the whole video, so I'll be fair and I don't want to say grandstanding, but she's like she's holding court at this like Barnes and Nobles and she's talking about some SJW stuff and a trans person comes out of the audience and starts like screaming at her and then they get in an argument more often. a trans woman was killed here a few blocks i have been followed home so have so i so have i so yeah, have i we're the same my point was we are the woman. same I want to use this video for like multiple reasons like number one it's just hilarious and i could watch it like the full clip i could watch it a million different times but it, it's also like a cool example for the the eight function model because i'm not gonna watch a bunch of videos with rose mcgowan to get like her all of the functions down but i could still figure out her type like from watching the video because i've seen it so many times like i i used to watch this like the first time i saw it i watched it for probably like a half an hour straight just like crying laughing watching it I was gonna say something about like it being educational from like a, a type perspective like oh yeah we can use this as an example to, of typing someone but it's really like it's really just because it's funny like it's a hilarious clip so I'll play I'll play the clip and then I'll add some commentary So have I. So have I. We're the same. My point was we are the same. There's an entire show called ID Channel, a network dedicated 24 hours a day to women getting abused, murdered, sexualized, and violated. And you are too, sister. It's the same. And you do nothing for them. Trans women are in men's prisons. And what have you done for them? What have you done for women? Lots of things. I've done lots of things too. You don't know my life. Don't sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Enough. Don't get sir. lost. I am a woman and trans woman. Congratulations. I so am I. This is the genocide. This is the AIDS crisis all over again. And this is white cis feminism. Shut up. You're so boring. White cis feminism. Don't label me, sister. Don't put your labels on me. Don't you fucking do that. Do not put your label on me. I don't come from your planet. Leave me alone. I do not subscribe to your rules. I do not subscribe to your language. You do not put labels on me or anybody. Step the fuck back. What I do is for the fucking world, and you should be fucking grateful. So shut the fuck up. Get off my back. What have you done? Because I know what I've done. God damn it. Like, I love the first part because it escalates so quickly. She's like, what have you done for woman? She's like, what have you done for woman? <laughs> Lots of things, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's just funny because it's like, okay, this is obviously an episode that's undermining this person, this actress. And it's, it's like the extroverted sensing character that of, of this exchange that is like the really undermining part. Cause it's like, all right, yeah basically she's just saying like don't freak out at me you know i'm trying to do this give this presentation or whatever the hell she's doing and she's like now you're just heckling me for no reason but like the way she handles it just really undermines her and if you look at the the eight the eight function model it's like okay so we should look at the demon spot and then we see all right whatever function goes there that's that's the function that we would expect to be undermining the person so it's like okay well this is, this is it's obviously extroverted sensation from from the fucking clip and then it it just gets it like escalates even more. She's like, "Don't you put your labels on me, sister? Don't you fucking do that!" And she's like screaming, and I was like, "Okay, that's like, that's crazy too. That's the um, 
it's extroverted feeling obviously but it's not extroverted feeling in a in a it's not positive and it's 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 not very it's not done very well at all it's it's uh what does it say in the fucking uh in the model it would say okay the witch is an area of limit setting and control defends by refusing belittling and activating sets limits well, the annoying thing here is that people, I know people are going to be like, well, you know, I have it, I know this ENFP, I have this ENFP friend, and you know, oh, they're all like this, they all do this. It's like, okay, well, the, the thing is that, no, this specific person has acted like this, and they happen to be ENFP. Like, that's the takeaway, and that's a lot of, that's like, that's like a, a major problem that you see with a lot of stuff in, in, in the MBTI community is people are like, I know somebody who happens to be this type and they act this way. Therefore, I'm going to generalize that to every, to like all these other people that get it. It's like, I don't see how people don't understand that that's basically just racism. Like, and that's, that's the weird part is because I'm sure a lot of people that are in the community are probably SJW themselves. You know, that's like a separate point, but it's like, okay, what if you said, oh, well, this person acted like that and they're black. Therefore, you know, oh yeah, that, that seems like something a black person would do. It's like for for this person, okay, extroverted sensation. If this person's ENFP, then extroverted sensation is a function that undermines them in a like a quote unquote demonic way, you know. But that doesn't mean that it's the same for every one of them. Like screaming at a heckler like that and pointing out um, pointing out you know concrete sensing facts in a demonic way is how extroverted sensation manifests for this person. But that doesn't make all ENFPs like. Um, prone to having an SJW meltdown at a Barnes and Nobles. You know, that's so specific. No, it's not. Women do know. That's why they kept quiet for so long, because it takes so much fucking energy. And for you to stand up, thank you. Trans women are women. What I've tried and been trying to say is that it's actually identical. The stats are not that dissimilar. You break it down, it is a much fucking smaller population. There's not a network, however, devoted to your fucking death. There's not advertisers advertising tampons as a camera goes lovingly up a girl's body as she's being fucking raped and strangled. Piss off. And until you can collect that fucking check, back up. My name is Rose McGowan and I'm obviously fucking brave. God damn it. <laughs> The whole video is like just very unhinged too and then she tries to like bring it back to some and show some semblance of normalcy by like trying to quote stats and like be like you know what well you know what i was really trying to say and it, like i guess you could say that's some extroverted thinking where she actually tries to make an appeal to objective data but it's like too little uh too late because it's like you've already just fucking had a meltdown in front of the this entire store it's really there's really no coming back from it like she was like what i do is for the fucking world so shut the fuck up and it's like okay like calm down you know i don't think you're gonna get the nobel peace prize like whatever you've done thank you whatever it is for you know for uh for women's rights or wh whatever she's doing you know that's that's good but i don't think you're gonna get the nobel fucking peace prize for whatever it is because i ha i'm not aware of it yeah, that's one of the best parts, is that the audience clearly did not expect that, and that you can hear a pin drop, you know. And then she paints another lovely, demonic, extroverted sensing picture when she talks about commercials or something. She talks about some advertisements at the end, and then she, like, says she's brave. Yeah, that shit was a yikes. It was definitely not... It was, it was like, when you... If you start, if you're probably at that shit at the Barnes and Nobles there. I don't know what she was talking about beforehand, but she was probably just doing like a book tour. I, if, if you were there from the beginning, I'll bet she could have never predicted that that would happen. So yeah, it was an interesting video. Uh, I also thought it was cool. It's just like, okay, well from that little segment, it's like you see three functions, but then if you see those three functions, they imply the type. So it's like, okay, out of that, it's like, okay, well, the only the only conclusion that you could draw from that if you are set on those three functions is that she's most likely ENFP. I mean, you could always interpret it, like, people are going to interpret it another way and be like, well, I don't know, if you, it's like, but I'm not going to, there's no way I'm watching a, a bunch of Rose McGowan interviews, you know, even for the Instagram account, like, I don't think anybody's going to request Rose McGowan, like, she's pretty Ill irrelevant right now, so, yeah, I don't know, I just thought, I thought that was funny. 
time we tell the truth. God, I'm bored, right? Isn't it boring? Isn't it bored? Isn't everyone bored just fucking 